There may be times in your course where you would like to control the instructional sequence of activities that your students complete. For example, you may want them to view some type of presentation and then complete an assignment and then take a quiz. We can accomplish controlling the flow of activities through modules in Canvas. So I'm going to go into the module settings by clicking the three dots besides the module title. And next I'm going to go into edit. So the next thing I want to do is start to add requirements. Add requirements basically allow you to set what you want a student to do as they move through a module. So I'm going to say students have to complete these in a sequential order. And then I'm going to choose what requirements I'm going to select. So first of all, I would like them to view the presentation. Just view the item is fine. The next requirement, I would like them to submit their assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and select the assignment and just to submit it. Now you can see that you can also set score at least. So if you wanted students to have to earn a certain score before going to the next item, you can do that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just say submit this assignment. And then finally, that will allow them to take the quiz. And I'm going to update the module. So let's take a look at this through a student view. So here we are looking at the modules page as a student. And you can see that there is now, since we've added requirements, a complete all items at the top of the module. You can see the student has viewed the presentation already. There's a check mark there. And that makes this bold and accessible. So the student is not able to get to the reflection yet until they submit their journal. So once the student submits their journal, So now you can see the journal has been submitted and the student can access the reflection and complete the quiz. Please reach out to ETS if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.